Coming to the stage, this brother is very, very funny. He travels all around the country. Please make some noise for Jason Harris. I'm happy to be here. It's May. I like it out here right now. It's April. It's May. How much time do you have tonight? It's not even May first. She said it so self-assured. It's April. So homeless people have their priorities out of whack, okay? Because yesterday I saw a homeless woman with a Bluetooth headset. A homeless woman with a Bluetooth, okay? And that's not even what bothered me. What bothered me is when she smiled at me and I realized that her Bluetooth was the only tooth this woman had. And my brother's favorite son, he's two years younger than me. He's a producer at Fox Sports Midwest. He's got a three-story townhouse. I stayed with him in the fall. Very nice. He's kicking my ass. Like, when my parents talk about him, they got this gleam of pride in their eye. They say, do you hear how well Max is doing? That's his name, right? When they talk about me, they say, do you hear how well Max is doing? You know, it doesn't work out for me, right? So I'm staying with my brother. My mom comes to visit. My brother's giving her the tour of the townhouse and everything. She's loving it. She pulls me aside. This is what she says to me. She goes, do you hate it that your brother has such a nice house and you have nothing? I was like, I don't know, do you hate it, Mom, that asking you that question just secured you a spot in the worst nursing home money you can buy? Do you hate that? I want to say, I hate when people say this, you know, like, at some point this always comes up, they're like, hey, you're Jewish, you must really hate that Hitler guy. Yeah, really? Thanks for that, right? But this is what I always say, you know? Yeah, I hate Hitler for the obvious reason, he killed six million of our people, but let's not forget the lesser tragedy, okay? He also ruined that sweet mustache for us, all right? Because if you were a Jew in like 1929 and you had that, you were the man. You'd be walking down the street and they'd be like, yo, Abrams, looking like a movie star, Mr. Chaplin over there, right? <laughs> Ten years later, you'd be doing the same thing and they'd be like, yo, Abrams, what the fuck? <laughs> It's interesting, that's my friend Amelia, and we were talking before the show, and she said to me, she goes, Jason, here's the thing, if I go on three dates with a guy, I know if I want to have sex with him or not. I said, that's interesting, because if I have sex with a girl three times, I know if I want to go out on a date with her. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys in on a, a secret, since Amelia's being so retarded tonight. It's kind of endearing to me, because I've always wanted to date a mentally retarded woman. Some people think that makes me a jerk, but I have a few reasons. A, they need love and two. B, someone has to tell them when they drop their ice cream. And C, if I date a retarded girl, whether she's sad or not, I could ask, Honey, why do you always look so downs? <laughs> no, sweet. No, Amelia, that helmet does not make you look bad. <laughs> No, I get myself into trouble with the ladies, though. Not too long ago, I was accused of statutory rape. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It was embarrassing, but more than that, it was very, very hurtful. Because she pinky swore she wasn't going to tell anyone. <laughs> I should be doing better with the ladies. I should be, because uh, I want you ladies to know this. Behind closed doors, I can go for an hour. In the bedroom, Jason Harris is a 60-minute man, ladies. That's not even the punchline. Can you wait for the punchline? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the punchline makes me look like an idiot, not that bad punchline. Start over. In the bedroom, Jason Harris is a 60 minute man. As long as 58 of those minutes are reserved for you holding me and telling me that it happens to every guy. That's the, <laughs> that's the punchline. <laughs> that's right. Don't. She's going to see, the joke means I'm a premature ejaculator. She was a premature laugh run. Just a joke. I like the things that you ladies get to get away with that us fellas don't at bars. You see a girl rocking fine cleavage like this one over here, right? And as a woman, what can you do? You can just walk up to her and grab a boob, right? Boob grab. Ooh, those are nice. Bouncy, symmetrical, little squishy. I'm jealous. I wish I had tits like that, you know? I can't do that as a guy. I can't be at the same bar like, hey, buddy, those are nice. Yeah. Bouncy, symmetrical, little squishy. I'm a guy like that. I can't do that. I like sex for all 
for normal reasons, but I also like sex for some of the other reasons, like, you know, that people don't think about, like, you get to find out interesting quirks about your partner that don't otherwise present themselves in a relationship. Like, has anyone out there ever been with a person who screams out complete and utter nonsense? Stuff that makes no sense at all in the context of lovemaking? Like, oh, it's just me? I'll tell you what, it's very off-putting when you're getting intimate with your lady and you're like, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, and she yells back, the large mouth bass actually has a smaller mouth than a small mouth bass. I was like, what? What do you have, sex Tourette's or something? This girl would make sex Tourette's demands. Those aren't like normal sex demands, faster, harder, more. No, sex Tourette's demands go more like this. Oh, baby, how's that? How's that? Call the police! Well, not. Eventually, she'd get me wrapped up in her little game, though, because, right, I'd be like, oh, I'm so close, I'm so close. It's April! It's 